Hello again. It has been a while since we last spoke. How are you? Me? I'm I'm good, thank you. Just just thinking of easing back into things, you know? I know, I know. I, I've not really been gone. I've still been here reporting on Starship and Space News after all, but I know that my claim to fame and my general USP has always been Kerbal Space Program, building and flying rockets, planes and single-staged orbit vehicles, and it's been about a month, maybe just over, since I last played this game and did a little commentary over the gameplay footage, and well, it really did feel like I had to ease back into the saddle again when making this video. Clearly, I've forgotten some critical aspects to making Kerbal Space Program videos since the audio didn't record for the entirety of the gameplay for this mission, so apologies in advance for that. <laughs> Not really sure why though, I, I used the same capture software for recording the live NASA TV broadcasts that I used for Space this week, and the audio always works fine, and I know for a fact that the weird audio glitch that sometimes happens in Kerbal Space Program didn't occur for the filming of this mission, since I had my headphones on and I could hear everything that happened, so tis a perplexing mystery that hopefully get solved sooner rather than later, but that aside, I've had a lot of comments from people asking about the return of Kerbal Space Program gameplay to this channel and what it would look like. I, I really wanted to initially just take an opportunity to get a few weeks without playing this game at all. Don't get me wrong, I love Kerbal Space Program to bits and I would have never been able to make weekly videos of it for the past six years if that wasn't the case, but you know, work is work and even if YouTubing isn't the same as, I don't know, filing accountancy reports, it's still a groove that one can just fall into and lose a little bit of a glint with and if any if that makes any sense and doesn't sound totally entitled and ungrateful, which I sincerely hope it doesn't, then maybe you could possibly understand a bit where I'm coming from. But tangent there aside, I have had a lot of comments from people asking about the return of Kerbal Space Program to this channel and what it would look like, and I think that expectations have started to get quite high. As in, people who ask such questions on my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, subreddit, links in the description by the way, gotta get that plugged in, they tend to get replies saying that I'm now just pouring a great deal more effort into videos so we can all rest assured that because there's not been a Kerbal Space Program video on this channel for several weeks, we'd expect something incredible out of this world. Literally, I guess, because it's a space program video. Regardless, I hate to be the bearer of... I guess news that I've basically already shared like half a minute ago in that I haven't really played this game at all since my last video. I, I just I just wanted to take a break and just restructure myself and take some time to reflect on Kerbal Space Program content creation. That and I've had a lot on these past few weeks. I had a mountain bike race to train for, the mountain bike race itself which I completed 52 kilometers of hell but it was quite sunny regardless tangent aside. I had friends stay around for about a week and my parents of staying with me last weekend, so really free time to myself has been a little bit limited, so I decided to use the remaining moments to not work on a Kerbal video as I normally would have done, but take the time to relax, maybe watch a bit of YouTube, go for a walk or a bike ride, or play a game for nobody but myself. In fact, I've been playing through a bit of Yakuza 0 recently, which is you know, a pretty fun game to kick back to, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Yakuza series, if you're not, missing out, it's great. <laughs> so with expectations ramping up to potentially overly stretched levels, I wasn't too sure how on Kerbin I could possibly meet them, so I decided to just ease back into the old saddle or cockpit with a very bread and butter Matlown Kerbal Space Program mission, a passenger and cargo SSTO, because why not? It's a vessel I'm very familiar with building and flying, and I think SSTO missions are the most fun types of missions in the game. Plus, there was the added suspense of not knowing if the vehicle would even work. What you're watching on screen right now is Take One, Flight One. I never even test flew this craft. I just built it, said, yeah, that, that looks about right, and then just hit record. Hence why I failed to notice that the audio never got picked up by Nvidia Shadowplay, or in Nvidia Share, I think is what they call it these days. Inferior name, in my opinion, but that's besides the point. But as Matt Lounge generic as this craft is, I do think that it came out fairly well. It has decent delta V in low Kerbin orbit, has generous crew and cargo capacity, and has a few nifty little features. For one, I really like the back uh, spoiler, the, the wing thing at the back that helps make sure that the center of lift stays well behind the center of mass even when the fuel tanks are completely empty. And of course, I'm sure it doesn't need mentioning that it's got some cool looking flags and you know, custom decals on the wings and fuselage and inside the cargo bay. 
And lastly, one thing I'm happy with are some non-propellant engines on the underside. They're shielded by a cargo bay that's clipped into the main fuselage to act as a cover to protect them during atmospheric re-entry, and that also doubles as a way of keeping the vessel both aerodynamic and very cool looking. And that last point is, of course, one of the most critical things to consider at Laun Aerospace, well beyond rubbish things like crew safety and fail-safe systems, etc, etc. And of course, the function of those monopropellant engines you just witnessed, they just help kick the nose up upon takeoff on the MUN, which of course has no atmosphere, so the lifting surfaces, the wings and elevons, uh, provide no benefit, benefit, so the monopropellant engines help kick things up a little bit and get us airborne or space born space bound uh, i'm not really quite sure how helpful they really were in reality because they didn't seem to raise the nose up at all it was only when i cleared a little ridge that the nose of the aircraft started getting into the i'm at the same conundrum i'm at before at, into the sky so but I, I think it's a good proof of concept maybe as a sort of future revision of this spacecraft i could use the Werner engines instead or even the monopropellant engine that nobody likes and I've forgotten the name of it if you follow me on Twitter and saw the engine tier list I posted it was the one I put in the trash tier the monop everyone's least favorite engine in the game you guys know what I'm talking about and well th that's um that's it what you know what am I talking about you guys know what I'm talking about and what I've been talking about in this video hasn't really been that relevant to what's been going on on screen I know that last time about monopropellant engines and all that wasn't the greatest segue to this topic because I was just talking about what was in the video but before that I wasn't really talking about any of the gameplay specifically at all because well you know I've got a huge back catalogue of you know over a hundred videos where I just sit there and talk about the gameplay and I think most people at this point in time in our lives have played Kerbal Space Program and are at least somewhat familiar with it is this a good thing going forward where I basically just talk about a random commentary subject and don't really address what's happening in the gameplay at all? And the two kind of just go hand in hand. You, know, you can just listen to me, I guess, just talk about things like a, almost like a podcast. And then there's just a video in the background of a thing that hopefully we have mutual interest in, you know, space, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, that 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 sort of thing. I, I don't know. I'm just sort of experimenting with things. Like I say, I would like to... Uh, you know, break the trend of what I've been doing in Kerbal Space Program these past six years, which is just the weekly video. I don't really know how yet I'm going to vary it up by doing like either more ambitious missions or maybe putting more thought maybe into the commentary itself or something like that. I'm still I'm still doing some soul searching really. So I know this might be a disappointing video for anyone that was thinking I was sitting there, you know, acting as an architect for this grand Kerbal Space Program mission that would just end all everyone's careers in Kerbal Space Program. This video is not that, but it's just... I feel like the I, I just couldn't possibly meet the expectations that people were setting themselves up for. Maybe that's just a very small minority and everyone else was would have been fine with just return to form of what I was doing before all of this before all of this happened, whatever this this happens to be. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just now sort of staring into space thinking about what else to talk about because I realized we've got very limited time left together in this moment because the aircraft is rapidly approaching the Kerbal Space Program Kerbal Space Program runway. Kerbal Space Center runway I nearly managed to get the entire commentary done in one take you know um I'm disappointed in myself I've let you guys down I'm very sorry but hopefully we can just move past this mistake together and continue forward uh, in, in whatever this relationship is. Uh, here you can see I was coming in a little bit too fast to the runway, so I'm doing some uh, sort of S turns to sort of bleed off some horizontal speed. So we, don't we, we touch down at a safe speed, basically. And then, well, there we are, all touched down. I can deploy the parachutes and... Well, there we are, you know, back in the saddle, first mission back from a very brief hiatus. Uh, I know it's a very, you know, uh, generic Matlam mission, but really maybe that's what we needed, you know, to get ourselves back into the spirit of things. I'm not going, I don't think I'm going to go back to weekly Kerbal Space Program missions by any stretch, but I'm going back to, you know, making 
Kerbal Space Program content to some capacity. Uh, what capacity that will be, I haven't really figured out yet. But if you liked this video, then hit like below. And if you want to join my Patreon, you can do what the lovely folk on the left did, scrolling past, and there's an end screen, you know how that works. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.